Trump has ignited a lot of fires for his remarks on Muslims, saying get them out the country. But Bill, the Muslim community isn't the only ones furious with Trump. Right here in North Jersey, the Ramapo tribe in Ringwood, where Ive Chase says they have had many nasty encounters with Trump. Going back to the 80s when they first started applying for federal recognition. They say what came out of Trump's mouth was flat out blatant racism. Well, he alluded that we were not Native Americans and that he indeed looked more like a Native American than we do. That resulted in many, many of our children being stood up in school and being ridiculed and going along with this old mythology of, of culture that was initially uh, we've had to suffer through. To lay out some history, the Ramapos who live in Ringwood filed for federal recognition in 1990. Trump, who at the time had a huge hold in Atlantic City with several casinos, um, felt threatened because he believed that the Ramapos receiving federal recognition in return, they would want a casino, and he says that would make him lose business. Till this day, the Ramapos are fighting to become federally recognized, and they point fingers at Trump for being one of the biggest reasons why they have not achieved that. Chief Dwayne Perry says it's scary that this man could be the next president. Pathology says he has an ego deficit. Uh, and if you combine that with hate, it goes beyond amusing. It's like being in the Klan. If there's one person in the Klan, they're tolerable and they might even be amusing. When you're riling up a nation, you become an extremely dangerous person. But I didn't lay Hillary off the table. I asked them, you know, what do you want to see from her? I would like to see her step up, and if nothing else can happen from Hillary's office, she needs to ensure that there's a healthy, survivable environment for the rest of our people who are trying to survive on a toxic waste dump. There was a Clinton in office during the time that they were applying for this. It didn't work out then. I find it interesting that they're blaming Trump when their applications were actually being rejected by uh, her husband. And it's, it's a little bit easy to just pull the race card on Trump and blame him for them not being able to build casinos and move on with their future and raise that kind of income. Trump is a smart businessman. He had casinos in Atlantic City and he was just looking out for his own interests. You can't blame him for that. If there's anything Democrats and Republicans have worked together on through the past couple hundred years, it's treating the Native Americans badly. That's a bipartisan <laughs> issue. Uh, we've worked together very hard to treat Native Americans like crap.